my name is Marco Permanto, uh, and I work at Taloa Games uh, as a programmer, the lead programmer, basically. That's my title. <laughs> cool. And did you get to do the interview because you're the one who wanted to, or because you speak the best English, or just because you got volunteered? Uh, I, I think it was probably because of like the uh, the fact that I had had the longest time of uh, involvement in the in the in the project, okay. basically. So I, I guess that's why. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, the game Unmechanical started started as a uh, student project at the school that we attended uh, like two years ago, um, and we got so uh, so good uh, response basically. So, uh, so that we uh, decided to try and make it a, a real thing, basically, uh, a real game. Um, so uh, as time went on, we tried to work on work on expanding it, work on making it longer, just you know stretching out the the uh, basic idea that we had uh, that it was a uh, a puzzle game where you fly around as a helicopter uh, and uh, solve puzzles. So. That's where it started, and uh, at at some point, our uh, teacher also got uh, involved in the in the project because he saw it, saw that it was it had potential to become um, something good. So so he wanted to get involved, help us out, and so forth. And that's where uh, Teatro Studios comes in because that's his company. Ah, right. So, that that explains quite a lot. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was wondering what the relationship between mm. Teotl and Tarawa was. Yeah, so he got he got involved uh, that way because we basically asked if he wanted to help out because, you know, he had a lot of uh, Unreal Engine experience and uh, we had very little, so it made sense to have someone on board who was, like, really experienced, who could help us out, teach us things uh, that we hadn't time for uh, during the actual courses and so forth. So... Uh, it was a very good good thing that we brought him in. Cool. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't have made it this far, to be honest. Right. So it was a good thing. Okay, why is that? Um, I guess basically because there's always things you don't think about, especially considering because we were so new at the whole thing, and we, you know, making games, uh, at least uh, on some kind of professional level. Uh, all of us had made, like, uh, you know, student projects, uh, mods and uh, you know smaller things because it's fun to make games, but uh, making something that could actually potentially launch on Steam and not be looked at like some sort of joke uh, because it's not polished enough or something like that that uh, required someone uh, with more experience. I guess now it's different because now we also have the experience. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So there's this whole indie gaming renaissance going on. There's this huge movement towards indie gaming. Do you feel you're part of that, or is that something that's just happened while you were doing this? Uh, I guess it just happened, really, because uh, we didn't have any real plan, basically, what it was supposed to be or uh, titled as or so forth. It just it is an indie game uh, Simply by by the fact that, uh, that we spent no money making making it, so no one and no one paid us anything. So we just made it with uh, you know our bare hands. <laughs> cool, cool. So I think a lot of people watching this um, will be very, uh, you know, they'll be thinking, thinking they'd like to do the same thing. Do you, would you recommend other people try and become indie gamers if that's their passion? Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing stopping anyone really because there's so much resources online uh, to uh, to teach yourself basically and you know hook up with others who uh, were as passionate so it's absolutely something you should uh, try and do if, if you think it's uh, it seems like a fun thing because it is a fun thing so you should absolutely absolutely try it I mean there's like even if it doesn't become something you can uh, you can uh, make any money from it's still an experience and it's still something you you can point at and tell people I made this, you know, give me this uh, game design job over here because I do, I'm already awesome. Yeah, so, cool. <laughs> and I, personally, I think the whole idea of just entertaining people for a living, I mean, it's pretty hard to beat that. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm, why I'm doing this, basically. Cool, good. 
And, um, you know, what did, uh, just a quick question, how many people are there in the studio, in the team? Uh, uh, the, the studio, uh, Talawa Games, is nine people, uh, but the uh, our mechanical team is 12 people. So it's slightly separate entities. We're kind of, um, they're merged somewhere in the middle, basically. Uh, our mechanical team um, had... Uh, uh, to be able to release the game on Steam, the mechanical team had to start some kind of company in order to be, to be able to do it. So uh, at one point, the idea was that this company that I was involved with as, at the same time as I was in, involved with uh, mechanical would would actually like put their name on the release. And that's uh, basically how it came, Talawa Games game. So it's a, it's a collaboration between... Uh, the unmechanical team and Talawa team to be able to release the game. Cool. And who actually came up with the idea of the robot, the character? Um, that would have to be Sophia. Uh, it was uh, her idea to be, make it a... Uh, and she also designed uh, the looks of it and uh, so forth uh, to make it a, a, a robot, some something with a personality instead of just some kind of, you know, basic helicopter which does, does uh, things in caves. That was the um, that was the original idea, anyway. You know, some some kind of flying vehicle that could lift things and move things around. And uh, at one point, it became an actual uh, character instead. Yeah, it's a very cool character. I think yeah. it definitely appeals to people as soon as you see it. Uh, absolutely, thank you. <laughs> That's cool. And um, what do you think of the other games in the Evolve bundle? Um, I've. Uh, I haven't tried uh, any of them actually, but I think from what, what I've seen, I, I think they seem really cool. I, I like Creator a lot. Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's from a studio who's pretty uh, close to us. Uh, we, we visited them a couple of times, and I think they're really cool people, and their game is awesome. I think it's really, really interesting uh, take on a, uh, I mean, story wise, uh, like a. Uh, the fact that it's based in Sweden and it's a hack and slash uh, post apocalyptic game um, uh, is a really cool thing. Yeah, I think they're all all cool games in the in the bundle. Yeah, good. Well, that's good to hear. I guess uh, my only other question really is: if there's anything else you want to tell us about the game or the studio, and tell the, tell the people watching. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I can't think of uh, anything special right now. Um, Besides the, well, maybe that you should uh, you should check out the uh, soundtrack also, uh, which you, you can find at Bandcamp. You can just search for Unmechanical over there. You should listen to it also. Okay.